dear students i am dr k kannan professor mechanical engineering anjali ammal mahalingam engineering college koilvanni i am happy to meet you through the video lecture series on the subject heat and mass transfer uh, this is on the radiation heat transfer module number 5 lecture number 3 uh, here we are going to discuss the radiation properties so in the previous lecture we introduced the black body we defined the emissive power and uh, we discussed the wayne's displacement law and solved a few problems on the using the topics now in this lecture we will be discussing on radiation properties and at the end of the lecture the student will be able to define or state what is chiffon boltzmann law define various radiation properties and uh, uh, you will be able to discuss the kirchhoff's law stefan boltzmann law so in the previous session we used the planck's relationship eb lambda so eb lambda equal to c1 divided by lambda to the power of i exponential of c2 by lambda t minus 1 that is for a particular wavelength now for the entire wavelength range the radiation energy emitted by a black body at an absolute temperature t over all wavelength per unit time per unit area is called as black body emissive power so the black body emissive power we have to calculate so eb equal to integrating the planck's equation from lambda equal to 0 to infinity and performing the integration and simplifying this eb equal to sigma into 2 to the power 4 where sigma is the stefan boltzmann constant which is 5.67 minus 8 watts per meter square kelvin so the black body emissive power for the entire range of wavelength per unit time per unit area uh, eb equal to sigma into t to the power 4 watts per meter square so this constant this equation you have to remember and the constant stefan boltzmann constant also is important we will be frequently using to solve the radiation problems and the calculating the emissive power plotting the emissive power Uh, in the in the graph with respect to temperature uh, this is how we are getting the graph so higher the temperature there will be steep rise in the emissive power so the radiation it is a it is a volumetric phenomena any object it radiate energy from its surface because of the temperature now the radiation falls on the other surface Uh, for example the solar radiation is falling on the earth surface so what happens to the incident radiation energy falling on the surface so if you look at the diagram the incident radiation watts per meter square uh, some portion is reflected some portion is absorbed and some portion is transmitted what is the portion reflected that depends on a particular property called reflectivity which is given as rho what is the amount of energy absorbed it depends on the absorbity of the surface alpha and what is the amount of energy heat energy transmitted it depends on the transmissivity tau so the in the total amount of energy falling on the surface or the solid some portion is reflected some portion is absorbed and some portion is transmitted and what is the value what is the uh, how to calculate the amount of energy reflected absorbed and the transmitted uh, we will discuss in the lesson uh, first the we define various radiation properties first property is emissivity emissivity is defined as the ratio of energy emitted by a real surface to the energy emitted by a black surface at the same temperature Uh, we said earlier uh, black body or black surface is the reference surface for all the radiation calculation and the emissivity is defined 
with reference to the black surface. So, emissivity is the emissive power of a real surface divided by emissive power of a black surface epsilon equal to E by Eb. So, E is the emissive power of a real surface and Eb is the emissive power of a black surface and the emissivity of the surface it varies between 0 and 1 and emissivity of black surface equal to 1. So, emissivity of black surface equal to 1 that means the black surface is emitting maximum power at a given temperature. So, the emissive power uh, is maximum uh, for a black surface at the given temperature. And the next property is the absorbity. So, absorbity of a surface is the ratio of radiant energy absorbed by the surface uh, to the radiant energy incident on the surface. So, alpha equal to radiant energy absorbed by the surface uh, divided by radiant energy incident on the surface. So, alpha equal to QA energy absorbed divided by QI energy incident. So, for a black body alpha equal to 1. So, what does it mean? The black surface of the black body it will absorb all the incident radiation. It is not reflecting or transmitting. So, this is important uh, conclusion. The absorbity of the black surface equal to 1, alpha equal to 1 that physically means the black surface of the black body absorbs all the incident energy uh, without reflecting and without transmitting. And reflectivity of the surface is the ratio of radiant energy reflected by the surface to the radiant energy incident on the surface. So, rho equal to radiant energy reflected by the surface divided by radiant energy incident on the surface. Rho is QR by QI. And here, there is example white surface, reflectivity of the white surface equal to 1. So, the white surface is the extreme, it reflect all the energy. So, it is not absorbing or transmitting. So, that is why we prefer the white shirt during the summer. So, it will reflect all the energy, it will not absorb the energy, so that uh, the temperature falls on the body uh, will be minimized. And the reflection, there are two types, specular reflection and the diffuse reflection. And this diagram you may be familiar. So, the light reflection you would have studied, the same concept is applied here. In the specular reflection, this is the source, the energy is falling on the surface and the angle is phi. Phi 1 is the angle at which the source energy falling on the surface and it is reflected. The angle of reflection is phi 2. When phi 1 equal to phi 2, then it is called a specular reflection. So, these two are mirror images. And uh, when the energy falling on the surface, when it is reflected in all the direction, that is called as diffuse reflection. Suppose the surface has, has got some impurities or roughness, oil, some impurities, some oil, some grease, uh, some uh, irregularity on the surface that, uh, that, that, that gives the diffuse reflection. Majority of the engineering surfaces are diffuse in nature. So, they reflect in all the directions. And transmissivity of a surface is ratio of radiant energy transmitted by the surface to the radiant energy incident on the surface. So, tau equal to radiant energy transmitted by the surface to the radiant energy incident on the surface which is Qt by Qi. Now, the relationship between all the properties for a real surface Qa by Qi QR by QI plus QT by QI equal to 1. That means alpha plus rho plus tau equal to 1. And we take a opaque surface uh, where the transmissivity equal to 0. And in that case, alpha plus rho equal to 1. For opaque surface, alpha plus rho equal to 1. And in our engineering calculation, we take all the surfaces are opaque in nature. That means it is not transmitting. It is either reflecting or absorbing. So, any surface when the radiation heat energy falls on the surface, it is reflecting or uh, transmitting, sorry, reflecting or absorbing and it is not transmitting. Transmissivity tau equal to 0. And the next calculation, next property is spectral hemispherical emissivity. So, we define the emissivity. Now, we calculate the emissivity at a particular wavelength. So, spectral hemispherical emissivity is the ratio of spectral radiation emitted from the surface 
uh, at an absolute temperature t to a black body mc power at the same temperature at a particular wavelength so the the same definition now we calculate with respect to a particular wavelength and the average value of the epsilon lambda over all wavelength is called as emissivity that is what we discuss here the emissivity of the surface and spectral hemispherical absorbity and the spectral hemispherical absorbity is the ratio of amount of radiation absorbed by a surface to the spectral radiation incident on the surface at a particular wavelength at a part the same temperature so alpha lambda equal to q lambda a divided by q lambda i so the average value of the alpha lambda is the uh, absorbity alpha of the surface of the solid and spectral hemispherical reflectivity the same way we define spectral hemispherical reflectivity is the ratio of amount of radiation reflected by a surface to the spectral radiation incident upon the surface at the same temperature at a particular wavelength so rho lambda equal to qr lambda divided by qi lambda and the average value of the rho lambda over all the wavelength is called as reflectivity rho and spectral hemispherical transmissivity uh, spectral hemispherical transmissivity is the ratio of amount of radiation transmitted by a surface to the spectral radiation incident upon the surface uh, at the same temperature at the particular wavelength so the, actually the same definition we calculate at a particular wavelength tau lambda equal to qt lambda divided by qi lambda and the average value of tau lambda over all wavelength is called as transmissivity now we define the same expression uh, we can write for the uh, real surface uh, for uh, the real surface at uh, q rho alpha lambda plus rho lambda plus tau lambda be equal to 1 that means the partially at a particular wavelength the amount of energy absorbed amount of energy reflected and amount of energy transmitted the sum equal to 1 and for opaque surface once again tau lambda equal to 0 then alpha lambda plus rho lambda equal to 1 and this is the uh, sample data at a particular temperature in the y axis we have the absorbity and the left hand side we have the reflectivity and we have the property for different material some eight samples uh, for example red color line for aluminium for aluminium uh, at 300 degree celsius the reflectivity is 92 percentage that means the absorbity uh, equal to the remaining absorbity equal to the remaining uh, 8 percentage and uh, at the 6000 kelvin the ref absorbity equal to absorbity equal to 48 percentage that means the balance is 64 uh, here 64 that is the reflectivity so for a particular solid at a particular temperature we can re, we can read absorbity on the right side reflectivity on the left side of course the data will be given in the form of a table so we can pick up the value from the table so uh, this is the example property of the different material absorbity and reflectivity of the engineering materials and we take some example to understand the theoretical concept a filament of round bulb is maintained at a temperature of 2000 Kelvin and it is assumed to be a black body. The transmissivity of the bulb glass is 0.92 in the visible range of radiation. Calculate the amount of energy transmitted. So the given data temperature equal to 2000 Kelvin and transmissivity equal to 0.92. The heat transfer from the filament per unit area. A q equal to sigma a to the power 4 which is 5.67 into area is 1 meter square and uh, uh, temperature is 2000 kelvin to the power 4 which is 9,7200 watts per meter square per meter square area and amount of, amount of energy transmitted q t equal to tau into q which is 0.92 into 9,0,7,2,0,0 which is 8,34,624 watts per meter square the answer for the problem amount of energy transmitted is 8,34,624 watts per meter square. You take another example a filament of 75 watts light bulb may be considered as a black body radiating into a black enclosure at 70 degrees Celsius. The filament 
diameter is 0.1 mm and length is 5 cm. Considering the radiation, determine the flumen temperature. So, you are given Q equal to 75 watts, temperature T2 equal to 70 degrees Celsius, that is surrounding temperature, which is 343 Kelvin. Diameter of the filament is 0.1 mm and length of the filament is 5 cm. Energy emitted by the bulb. So, Q equal to sigma epsilon into A in the T1 to the power 4 minus T2 to the power 4. Sigma is the Stephen Boltzmann constant, which is 5.61 10 power minus 8. Epsilon, we assume this is a black body where epsilon equal to 1 and A equal to pi d into L. So, pi into diameter 0 0.1 to the power minus 3 into L equal to 0 0.05 into T1 to the power 4. This is the flamen temperature which is the unknown and it is giving the energy to the sur surrounding which is 343 Kelvin. So, calculating 75 on the left hand side. So, calculating everything this is 8.906 in 10 power minus 13 into T1 to the power 4 minus T343 to the power 4 and uh, calculating the value the temperature is 3029 Kelvin or 2756 degree Celsius. So, the answer the temperature of the filament is 2756 degree Celsius. And uh, we have a reflections part here. So, from the discussion what we heard about the past 15 minutes, uh, you give a pass and write down the important parameter uh, whatever you remember. You can give a pass to the video and you can write down the important things whatever you remember from the previous discussion. And if you are able to write all these things, it is good. So, Stephen Boltzmann law we discussed, emissivity we defined, absorbity we defined, reflectivity we defined, we define the specular reflection, the diffuse reflection and we discuss about the transmissivity. So, all these things we have to recall. So, a definition of emissivity, definition of absorbity, a definition of reflectivity, uh, what is specular reflection, what is diffuse reflection and what is transmissivity of the uh, surface. And we take the next discussion Kirchhoff's law. Uh, what is Kirchhoff's law? The emissivity and the absorbity of a body are related by the Kirchhoff's law. How they are related, emissivity and the absorbity. We take a enclosure, black enclosure, insulated, and we have a sample of object of surface area A, and uh, they exchange heat by radiation. So, when it is ex when, when these two surfaces are there exchanging heat by radiation. So, the radiation falls on the surface and it is emitted. The energy incident on the surface is Qi. Qi into A is the total energy incident on the surface. Out of the total energy incident on the surface, what is absorbed by the surface that is alpha multiplied by alpha. So, Qi A into alpha is the total energy absorbed by the surface. Total energy, in the total energy falling on the surface, the energy absorbed by the surface is Qi A into alpha. And because of the absorption, the temperature of the sample body is increasing and it is em emitting energy. What is the amount of energy emitted? So, this we assume this is a gray surface. What is amount of energy emitted equal to Ea? E into A. So, E is the emissive power of the body surface into area of the surface. So, this is continuously happening. So, energy falling on the surface, in the total amount of energy falling on the surface, some portion is absorbed by the surface. The amount of energy absorbed equal to QIA into alpha and because of the temperature of the body it is emitting, the amount of energy emitted equal to E into A and this process continues to happen for a for some time. After some time, when the two body, the black enclosure and the sample, they come to the thermal equilibrium condition. Now, what happens? Whatever the energy absorbed by the surface is absorbed by the body that is equal to energy emitted by the body. So, the these are all the basics for real surface. Radiant energy absorbed by the surface equal to QI A into alpha. Radiant energy emitted by the surface equal to E A. Uh, thermal at thermal equilibrium conditions, these two are equal. Now, the 
we change, we replace the sample object into a black object. The solid is replaced by a black body of similar shape and surface area and allowed to reach thermal equilibrium. So, for black body, we have to write this equation. So, this is what the thermal equilibrium equation. For black body, we have to write this equation. Now, what happens? What is the change? For a black body, QI is the same, A is the same and the equation alpha equal to 1 because black body will absorb all the incident radiation alpha equal to 1 and E becomes EB. So, E here it is gray, uh, MEC power of a gray body and EB is the MEC power of black body and A is the area which is the same. Now, we find the ratio. The ratio of the we take this is the first equation, this is the second equation. So, Q i a by alpha a alpha divided by Q i a equal to E a by E b a. So, deleting everything, it, it leads to alpha equal to E by E b. Now, what is alpha? Absorbity of the surface, absorbity of the gray surface. How this is defined? How this is? What is the conclusion in this equation? alpha equal to E by E b. What is E? MEC power of the gray surface. What is E b? MEC power of the black surface of the similar shape at the same temperature. Now, alpha is by the experiment, we conclude that alpha equal to E by E b. MEC power of the gray body divided by MEC power of the black body. But already we defined, earlier we defined epsilon equal to E by E b. What is epsilon? Emissivity of the surface is E by E b. So, for a real surface at the same temperature, that means thermal equilibrium condition alpha equal to epsilon. So, this is what the conclusion. For, thermal, for a real surface at thermal equilibrium condition alpha equal to epsilon, that is what the Kirchhoff's law. So, Kirchhoff's law states that the emissivity of a body is equal to its absorbity at the same temperature. So, emissivity of a body. So, this conclusion is very important uh, for all our radiation calculations. So, Kirchhoff's law. So, alpha equal to epsilon is very important conclusion uh, for all our radiation calculation in future. And these are all the books uh, what I referred for the discussion on the particular topic. You can reach to it. And this is the book what I published earlier on the subject. Uh, you can you can have the copy and uh, get more idea from the textbook. And if you have any queries, you can write to me to my mail ID. I will sincerely answer. Thank you. We'll meet again.